Hi. I know I haven't posted in a while. Um, there have been like so many changes in everything. I guess you can understand. Um, anyways, uh, what I wanted to do today, after a long while of being away, um, is uh, to shoot a longer video, not quite uh, in the format you are used to. Uh, this is going to be like, I don't know, like a half hour video uh, in which I will be explaining um, the changes that I've made to the system over time since the last uh, video. Back then I, ha I was using this small system and now I'm back with uh, using the 12 view system. However, I've borrowed a few ideas from the small system and brought them into the big system and then added a few more things just because I have more room so why not so let me give you a very basic walkthrough of what's going on here here I have just a simple um, noise I guess you already know what what's that for um, it just makes things uh, gel together um, it's very useful for transitions, etc. The noise comes from this little um, noise and filter module from Verbos. As you can see, um, I'm running the cables from all the modules that I don't have to use very often, um, such as this little module. It has only outputs, so there's nothing to touch here. So uh, yeah, that's why it's there. This is one. Um, the other one, and this is where all the changes have been happening. Um, I wanted to shoot this video like a while ago, but then I kept changing everything that's going on here. Uh, and I kept thinking to myself, okay, I'm gonna make the changes and then shoot the video. And I, ju I just kept uh, making more and more changes. But then I realized I wouldn't make the video ever if I just don't stop everything and make it. So here we are with a setup I'm not completely happy with, but I think I will never be. So, uh, and, and it still has a few advantages over different uh, setups. So, what's going on here? Here I have an oscillator into Treshmaster. You already know it, um, and I'm using it um, as a voice maker. What do I mean by that? It has a gain CV and a frequency CV, so um, I just feed it two envelopes, uh, one to each, and then I just use it, um, yeah, just like that, like a dirty subtle wave into, you know how that sounds. So this is one voice, um, I'm sequencing it with this sequencer, I know it's a little bit overkill for this simple task, um, but the reason I'm using this, like a completely separate sequencer uh, from this, is uh, to make the transitions smoother, because if I'm going from one pattern to the other, then everything will change at once, I mean the drum pattern and the sequence and like everything so um, yeah I wanted to keep uh, at least one voice completely independent uh, the other thing uh, this allows me is that uh, I can choose to reset the sequence or shorten the sequence um, instantly and like on the fly I know it's a, like 
it's a marketing thing to say on the fly, you know. Anyways. Yeah, so that's this voice. Now, what's special about it is that it can be sequenced by either this row over here or the CV sequence that's coming from this sequencer. How am I choosing where to sequence it from? Uh, using this little switch here. This allows me to um, make a unison voice, like, I don't know how to call it, yeah. It's basically, I want to make this oscillator and this oscillator play the same sequence uh, going into the, this filter right here. And this allows me to make like electro breaks and or, you know, things that need two saw waves or two slightly tuned, detuned oscillators. So yeah, I just uh, flick this switch right here and now these two oscillators are doing the same thing and both are coming into this uh, mixer right here which then goes into this filter. Well, at, at least that's what I was doing in the last uh, patch. Um, this is a slightly different patch so what's going into this channel in this mixer is the pulse wave, the uh, square wave instead of the subtle wave. So uh, that would sound like this. Since this filter is a self-resonating filter, and a pretty good one also, then I can use its own um, cross-modulation or whatever is going on here, uh, and the resonance. And then I can sequence that using um, either the uh, envelope that's controlling it, or a CV sequence that's going into the vault per octave of the filter. Um, it sounds like this. Yeah, so using two oscillators into a mixer and then into a self-resonating filter, I can achieve many types of sounds. Next, we have a BIA into UJOV. Um, what these two are doing, on, and UJOV is on bandpass filter, what these two are doing is a hi-hat most of the time. Which is uh, pretty good, I must say. It's noisy, but it's good. And then I can um, just tune it to wherever I want it in the spectrum.
now of course um, I have a CV sequence coming from this module into this slider which acts as an attenuator to this sequence um, which changes the decay and changes the cutoff frequency um, at the same time Okay, uh, sorry, so uh, what I have going on, sorry about that, <laughs> what I have going on here uh, is four sliders, um, I've already explained uh, what this does, now slider number one just uh, is just high passing the bass drum. Uh, which is going through the uh, Steve's MS-22 filter so just, you know, high passing a kick fairly basic um, decay sequence to all, all the voices I should like change the patch a little bit for that to uh, happen but this is what I wanted to do and this one does the same for the filters so this should open uh, the Treshmaster filter and also Belgrad it's already opening Belgrade. Yeah, what else? This is uh, the SYO5, um, but I'm using it in upwards mode, like the pitch envelope is going up instead of down. Um, and that's what what's doing that trippy sub bass. I can also, of course, do the regular thing. So yeah, it depends on like whatever I'm trying to do. This uh, concludes what's going on here in this patch. Um, there's not really much uh, to see in this side of like these two rows over here. Um, just because I've already covered them in the other videos, I've since then I've bought like new effects modules, stuff like that, but like it's just not that interesting really i think i will let you know um every now and then like about changes i do to this thing in order for make it do different things um i was making a little bit more like electro stuff this is why why uh in my last patch i was not using the lip and Instead of Belgrade, I was using the Sonic 15 filter by AJH, which does amazing bass lines and leads. Uh, yeah, so it was like a bit of mo more of a classic sound. I needed uh, two sawtooth waves and two sine waves. The two sawtooth waves were going into this mixer and then into the AJH um, Sonic 15 filter, which does amazing f um, leads and basses. That's why I needed this switch to make both oscillators do the same thing or run completely independently in terms of uh, pitch sequencing. And for the other voice, I was using a natural gate instead of Treshmaster. Um, and this oscillator was feeding a sine wave into it. Now this oscillator uh, does through zero linear FM. Um, so I was using the sine wave from the other oscillator into this so um yeah you know how that sounds right uh, basically a modulated sine wave going into a lopus gate that's what it was uh, so i managed to have like a wide palette of sounds because of the uh, linear fm because i had uh, different sequencing capabilities 
and bef because I I could use like either one oscillator or two oscillators and some noise from this noise module over here. So yeah, you know how that sounds too, right? Two subtle waves and some noise into a filter. Classic stuff. But for the deeper um, patches, I felt I needed um, something a little bit more modern, I guess. So I switched to Belgrade and the LAP, which gives me all that, I don't know what to call it. Uh, but for deep techno and, you know, all this trippy stuff, you you really need, like, both of these, in my opinion. Actually, the last patch was a little bit like smarter, you can say. Um, but yeah, it, it was still not it because the sine wave, like the modulated sine wave was too clean in, in going into a natural gate. Uh, and this was too, uh, you know, it was always a sawtooth wave or two sawtooth waves into the same filter. So, you know, it wasn't giving me the variation I, I was looking for, so yeah. Now this, I don't know, I'm still missing the uh, through zero linear FM thing, so I might go back into that. I'm still not sure, but um, I guess I will be trying to keep you posted. So yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this kind of weird freeform format. And um, see you next time, I guess. Thanks for watching. Now I'm gonna leave you with some little jam, as always.